Okay, so this is the wall neck plank. What you'll do is you'll sit against the wall or a door like I am right now with your feet approximately a foot away from the wall. You're going to cross your arms and bring your head to the wall. You want your chin slightly tucked, not all the way into your chest, but you definitely don't want your chin jutting out towards the, the wall in front of you. So kind of a neutral position of your head. What you're going to do is push your head back into the wall and subsequently lift your butt and your shoulders away from the wall. And then you're just going to hold this position for approximately a minute or if I've given you longer lengths of time to hold then you can do that as well. Notice how when I came back down that I came back to the wall. What I do not want you to do, I'll do it here, but I don't want you doing that to come off the wall. That puts a heck of a lot of sheer stress through your neck um, and might make your neck even worse if you do that. So try to avoid that. Sit back to the wall and step away from the wall when you're done with the exercise. A couple things that people do wrong with this. Number one, a lot of people will go way too chin to chest and they don't bring the base of their neck away from the wall. We want to basically mimic really, really good posture when you're doing this exercise, but you were tipped back about 10 to 15 degrees. This is not really good posture, and that's what you're doing if you're doing the exercise like this. So the goal is not to get your chin to your chest. I don't want you feeling much of a stretch through the back of your neck. Um, you really shouldn't feel a ton, to be honest with you, when you do this exercise. One other thing that people will do wrong is they will really hyperextend their back. So the butt kind of gets stuck behind and now my back's in a lot of hyperextension. I've had way too many patients come in and tell me that their back hurts when they do this exercise. So if you have a tendency to do this, tuck your butt underneath you. Um, kind of picture like a dog that gets yelled at. You're bringing your tail into that you know, dog that just got yelled at position when you do it. Um, so those are the two big things to look out for. You should, when you're done with this exercise, almost feel like your head weighs a couple pounds less afterwards. You should get a nice, light, floaty feeling in your head. Um, if you're not getting that, you're likely not doing the exercise correctly, and just let me know, and we'll consult and try to figure out what you've done wrong. So that's the wall neck plank.